It's not every day that Nintendo announces a brand new character, so I feel absolutely thrilled to be sharing this special moment with you. Plus, some great review scores for some awesome Nintendo titles. This one's gonna be good. Good morning, Mario, and good morning, Switch fans. My new favorite mug. I can't stop using it. I got like 50 mugs and I have favorites that I just cannot quit. I hope you understand and feel me. A couple life updates from me first. I'm having a problem. You see these, these grippies here? So I put up my Breath of the Wild poster in anticipation of six weeks away. Heck yes, wait, seven weeks, something like that. The new game is out very, very soon, even though we know nothing. And I tried to put another one here, but the glare from my lights, I could not escape. So if you guys have any cool ideas for that, let me know. I may have one or two, we'll swap it out. But I wanna kick it off with some review score roundups. All right, some really cool stuff is going down, including proving that the GameCube, probably the best system ever. Maybe that's hyperbolic, but the two top reviewed games of the year thus far are from the GameCube. Metroid Prime Remastered absolutely crushed it, delivering knockout perfect scores from many outlets and it deserves it. Phenomenal game, can't wait for four. And now Resident Evil 4, a GameCube classic, just got its review scores and it's sitting at a 93 with again, a lot of perfect scores and a lot of people saying like, this is as good as it gets for gaming. So I think the real crux of this is the GameCube, super underappreciated. I sure love my little purple box and maybe they need to bring back more GameCube games or better yet, Maybe they just need to continue the game design philosophy from those GameCube titles. You know what we use every single day, but never gets enough attention? Our internet browser. It's something we're using all the time, but it's more of an annoyance than something we enjoy. No longer, because today's video is brought to you by Opera GX, an internet browser made specifically for gamers like you and me. This thing has made my life and my work and my play all so much better because it's got awesome specified features like GX control, which allows me to make sure that my internet browser isn't taking up too much of my memory or too much of my CPU so I can continue to game and edit without worry. Plus, it's got great customization, especially for someone that's recording late into the night and live streaming early in the morning. No more giant bright flashing screens. You can set Opera GX to a nice dark mode with lovely subtle neon colors that make everything just that much more comfy and cozy for your eyes. This browser also has GX Corner, an amazing hub for games where I can check in on the latest release dates, the best sales, and even play games directly through Opera GX. It's clear that Opera GX is the absolute best for people like you and me. They even have GX Mobile, so you can use the browser on your phone too. So make sure to click the link in the description down below or use my fancy futuristic QR code on screen to download the Opera GX browser right now. Every time you click the link or use the QR code, it helps support the channel. Plus, instead of something you put up with, it's time to make your internet browser something you love. Also review-wise, we have Bayonetta Origins, Cereza, and the Lost Not Bayonetta game. Now, this one is actually getting pretty good marks. It's out today if you want to pick it up. And it's kind of split between like, wow, this alternate style is really cool and the puzzles are really fun. And wow, this isn't Bayonetta and it's repetitive. So I guess it just kind of depends on the kind of gamer you are and maybe your appreciation for slower paced games and titles that do harken back to the golden era of games. I feel like we are having a bit of a resurgence from past design philosophy, and as an old boy myself, kinda here for it. I really do appreciate them mixing and matching and making sure that everything isn't a games as a service game. Not everything has to be brand new. There's a lot of good from the past, but that's not to say that you can't innovate and improve. And I do think a game like Resident Evil 4 showcases that you can take an old classic and make it even better. It's appealing to me because Metroid Prime Remastered doesn't really change much of the systems, although it does improve the controls. And that alone proves that a game made in that philosophy with today's technology would be super-rific. 
And that's why Metroid Prime 4 is so gosh darn exciting. But enough of that, my friends. Let me know what you think of that in the comments down below. Now it's time for Nintendo's new character. I did not see this coming. Waking up on March 17th and getting a brand new reveal. But Nintendo dropped a 50 second video highlighting their new main guy. And let me tell you, this is both fascinating and a bit samey. So basically what they've done is they've taken Mario and made him taller and green. We've got this new green Mario fellow who can jump higher, run a little bit faster, and seems a little bit more clumsy. You can just tell by his expressions that he's not as familiar and confident in his abilities as the main character Mario, but this new character that they have named Luigi is going to be appearing in a ton of games. In fact, the coolest part of this video is that Nintendo is confirming multiple new Switch games involving this brand new character. All doll up in green, we're getting one where he explores a spooky mansion. This looks to be kind of a comical title where we take this character who's a, a bit ironic and maybe a little bit fearful and puts him into a situation where he's unfamiliar and lacking the partnership of clearly the superior platformer. It seems like this new game, Luigi's Mansion, won't have much platforming, but will instead focus on action as you soak up ghosts and see what they're made of. But that's not to say that this new guy won't be doing jumping of his own. There is platforming action for him in Super Luigi Bros U, which is a takeoff on Super Mario Bros U, as well as Luigi appearing in DLC for multiple Mario sports games. They're bringing this guy into Mario Strikers, Mario Tennis, and Mario Golf, including Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, beefing out their roster with Green Mario. Now, you've heard my excitement, but let me also express, for a new character, it does feel like they're kind of just copying and pasting. Like somebody photoshopped Mario, inverted the colors, and stretched. Is that really all we deserve in 2023? I do have to applaud Nintendo for introducing somebody new, and I think this style of character introduction is really great. Like, who is this person? Because nobody knows what Nintendo is thinking, and when they put out a new character, it's a big deal. Think of all your favorite Nintendo moments. They're tied to huge characters like Link or Samus, Donkey Kong or Princess Peach. So now introducing this green Mario guy is pretty freaking awesome. So awesome in fact that Nintendo sent over a package with the first ever figure of Luigi. Here he is in person. And I gotta say, when I opened the box, some of my feelings of duplication, copy and paste, they did go away. There's something charming about Luigi being a bit taller, and as the taller brother in my family, I kind of like him. I think this guy is going to catch on with many Nintendo fans, and while he'll never be as popular as Mario, of course, I think Luigi has got what it takes. I think he can be one of Nintendo's mainstays, and I'm excited to see his game lineup and how they differentiate this green Mario from Red Mario's typical titles. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of Nintendo's new character, and I gotta just say I'm grateful to share this moment with you, because Nintendo is very careful. They're cautious and fickle with their new IP and new characters. I mean, we had Splatoon in the Wii U era, and we had ARMS in the Switch era. I guess you could consider 1-2 Switch kind of a new IP attempt, but you've seen where that's gone and the rumor is that it went even worse places than what we actually know about. So Nintendo, like they don't do this very often. It would be awesome if they did because their new ideas are usually quite great. And anytime we've seen Mario or Zelda kind of mix in with a different IP or a different publisher, it works out really, really good. It's kind of odd then that Nintendo so rarely experiments or gets creative when that's a big part of their philosophy. Being creative, being surprising, being exciting is something that Doug Bowser has stated about their system technology and their hardware releases. It definitely factors into their game design, but why not into their characters and IP? I hope that the introduction of Luigi really is a signal of things to come, that Nintendo can take leaps of faith. Those little flurry feet we saw in the trailer were actually pretty sweet and will have game implications as well as maybe like serious character implications. I wonder what that means psychologically if you're fluttering your feet like that every time you jump, like, are you just desperate to reach your destination? Or maybe you're not fully confident in yourself and you have to flutter to ensure you get where you're trying to go. It speaks on another level, and I love Nintendo's investment into deep character portrayal. I hope they continue this, and as we prep for the next Switch, 
maybe Switch 2 is the place where Nintendo really can invest in new IP. We love our Mario Karts, our Zeldas, our Marios, of course, yes, but maybe it's time to see a lot more creative titles. And with enhanced power, better visuals, and supreme DLSS technology, there's a lot of opportunity for Nintendo to go new places that they've never been before. Let me know in the comments down below if you agree. New IP from Nintendo is a great thing and we need more of it. And let me know what you think of this new guy, Luigi, Green Mario. But once I saw him in person, I became a fan. I'm a fan of all of you as well. So stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, stay positive out there. Be careful on St. Patrick's Day. Please take good care of yourself. Watch out for others and make sure. Until next time, thanks so much for watching. Switch Force, out.